Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about soul contracts and I have talked about this before, I talk about this regularly, but there are still people asking me questions about it and also new people finding me, so I'm going to talk about if it's ethically correct to even do soul contract readings to begin with, because I got a question yesterday from somebody asking me um, a soul contract reading, isn't that a type of Akashic Records reading? So if I ask you to look into a soul contract between me and a, a close family member, for instance, is that still breaking in to somebody else's energy? Is that an ethically correct thing to do as a psychic or as a person requesting a reading? And maybe you have never even stopped to think about that, like, oh, is that actually appropriate? Is that something that you should do? Does that have energetic consequences? Maybe you've never even stopped to think about it, but I'm here to tell you what my perspective on this is. Um, and I, she said, she asked me, is this violating any agreement? Um, because this has to do with my Akashic Records. And the way I've explained it in previous videos, and I always talk to my own Syrian aspect, who gives me the information, because she is very knowledgeable on the Akashic Records, as you can tell, very serious, because she is from Sirius. Okay, anyway, back to what we were talking about, that was a little joke. I have a video about energetic burglary, I have another video too in my Akashic Records series where I talk about um, you possibly tapping into information that may not be correct when you don't go about it the right way. So what does that mean? There are some energetic boundaries that you have to take into consideration. And there are two ways that you can do a soul contract reading or there are two ways that I will do a soul contract reading. And one is where the other person gives me permission, so that I have the permission of the two people involved in the soul contract reading, and then I will work with the higher selves of both of these people, with the souls of the two people, and then I have access to both of their Akashic Records. And the other option is that I work with the higher self of the person requesting the reading. And then I will tune in with my guides and I will also ask to really be shown the boundary. Where does it end? Where does it begin? And because this information has to do with the person requesting the reading, I also trust that my guides know exactly where to set the boundary where it's going to start to interfere with the free will of the other person, things that may be not in the best interest of this other person, uh, for those things to be revealed to the person requesting things that are not relevant, only things that matter for this person requesting the reading, for those things to come forward. So that is how I will do a reading. And I will explain why I do it like this. Let's say that this is this energetic boundary that I spoke of earlier. And if you do not have permission to go through that energetic boundary, what's going to happen is that you are going to bounce off of this wall. Because you do not have the key. You are going to basically keep bouncing off of this wall. So you're going to have this ping-pong effect, this weird thing of energetically bouncing off of this wall. So you are going to end up in all of these other layers with a bunch of other energies that you are going to be able to tap into. But that is not necessarily going to be the correct information. Imagine if you actually have the key and you are allowed to open this door you can walk in there, then you are going to have access to all the correct energy. And that is what that is, basically. When you have somebody's permission, then you do have access to all of these other realms over here with their true Akashic records. 
And if you are working with just one person's Akashic Records, then you are going to have access to it and you are going to be able to read all of the person's records that you have access to, including anything that is connected to this other person. And there will simply be this boundary right there. But because this other person also is connected to this person, there is an overlap. And in this overlap is where you will be able to read the information that is necessary for this person here to know. So I hope that that clarified a few things. Always also ask yourself, why do I want to know the soul contract? Is it for myself so that I can understand myself better? Or is it in some kind of attempt to try to control the situation, try to control the connection with this other person? Or is it truly to understand on a multidimensional level what this connection is about? But that is why when somebody does come to me for a soul contract reading, it is very clearly stated on my website what these readings are, what these readings are not. They are not a traditional love reading. And if that is for you, if you have these experiences where you have had one of these readings or you are one of these readers that does it this way, I do believe we live in a very nuanced, layered, multidimensional world. And these experiences, may um, maybe they are necessary for some people, but I also believe there are specific laws in the universe. There are specific laws that God put in place where everything is constantly being brought back into balance. So I personally am not going to be doing that. And that's why a lot of people don't understand like where the boundary is, why it's important to respect the boundary. And that's why I felt like making this video again, even though I have talked about energetic burglary, I have talked about tapping into the true Akashic Records, or perhaps not tapping into something true, and what could create such a thing to happen. So that's why I wanted to mention this again. Go check out those other videos. They are on my channel. You can find them. The titles are something along the lines of Energetic Burglary, and the other video is part of my 33 video series on the Akashic Records. Go check out that entire playlist if you haven't. If you are interested in learning more about soul contract readings, about the Akashic Records, and you can look at soul contracts with your children, family members, anybody, you can look at soul contracts even with specific spirit guides. That's something that may not have come up for you, but for people that are, have been on this journey, I have done them where they have such a strong connection with their guide that they want to see where have we been together. So stuff like that. So just message me, comment, and I will give you more information or check out my website where you can also find all the information. Bye-bye.